Yogurt and a Zoeva 227 brush. I'm applying that to my upper crease area. Now with MAC Bamboo and a MAC 217 brush, I'm applying that directly to my crease. Now with MAC Cork on the same brush, I'm applying that to my crease again. We are adding definition. Now using the same shadow in a Japanese smudge brush, I'm applying that directly to the crease. This is to add more definition but add the product darker and then I'm blending that out with my MAC 217 brush. Now taking MAC Deep Damson on the same smudge brush, I'm applying that to the crease and then we're going to be blending that out with the MAC 217. Adding more of the Deep Damson on the smudge brush and blending that out again. I keep layering the product to add definition. Now taking MAC Nylon and a small shader brush, I'll be highlighting my brow bone. First I apply it and then I blend it out with my finger. Next to cut the crease, I'm using this MAC Pro Longwear Concealer and a Real Techniques Detailer Brush. So I start on the inner corner of the eye and I'm just cutting out the crease. Taking my time and making sure that line is precise. So I keep going back and forth, just cutting out the crease, making sure it's even and kind of how I want it to go. And once I get the shape, I pull the product down. Now I'm just blending that down onto the lid and fixing some spots that I feel like aren't symmetrical. Next I'm taking MAC Blanc Type with a shader brush and just setting all of that concealer. And then I decided to take my smudge brush and just make that darker in the crease. And blending all of that together with my MAC 217 brush. Next, taking my Suva Beauty Hydra Cream Base in Painted Elephant with the Elf Small Smudge Brush. And I'm going to start by drawing a line in the inner corner. And taking my time, I'm setting up this base for the lid where the color is going to go. Taking my time to follow that crease line that I have up there. And don't worry if you have you make a mistake, you have to clean it up with concealer. I'm just tugging on my lid a teeny bit so that I can get like a straight line because I have a lot of creases on my lid. Now I'm just dragging that across the lid. Now I'm taking this NYX felt tip liner in the color brown. I don't know what the name is, but I'm filling in the rest that I left open. This is completely optional. I thought with the duochrome of the shadow, it would change the color a bit, but it didn't really do it. So it's optional, but I'm doing it here. Just filling in that outer corner and then blending that together with the other base. Now with this super tiny paintbrush, I'm going back into the crease where the negative space is because I didn't like the shape of it, so I'm just cleaning that up here. Next I'm taking the Smokin' Pigment from Wildly Natural Cosmetics. I do have a discount code if you want to check the description box below, I'll have it listed for you. And I'm using an e.l.f. concealer brush, which I have sprayed with Fix Plus. Now I'm just spreading that all over the lid where I have the base down. And 
I'm just taking my time going in the crease where the negative space is and again cleaning up any spaces that I want with concealer and that small paintbrush. Next I'm using Suva Beauty's Hydra Liner in the shade Scrunchy. This one is a UV shade and they're liquid activated so I'm showing you here with Fix Plus and I'm using a Zoeva Wing Liner Brush. Starting in the outer corner of the eye I draw a line and then I drag that back into the lash line. Start filling that in. So now I'm continuing my wing. I connected them there and I'm just filling that in and making it thicker and more opaque. So just continue to do that and then making the line smooth across the lid. Now cleaning up the wing with a white. Next using my NYX HD concealer in fair. Applying that to my under eye and using a Sigma F75 brush, perfecting that wing and blending that out with my e.l.f. Flawless Concealer Brush, remembering to tap over that line there. Now I'm lightly setting that with my NYX powder and next with my NYX Jumbo Milk Pencil, applying that to the inner corner of my eye and filling it out with my finger. Next, taking Wildly Natural Cosmetics Valley Girl Pigment. Again, I do have a discount code. You can check my description box below. And I'm using a Zoeva pencil brush and layering that pigment over the pencil. Next, taking Kat Von D Beauty Iggy Metal Crush Shadow. With a MAC 239 brush, I am applying that to my lower lash line. Next, taking my Avon Emerald Glimmer Stick, applying that to my waterline. For my Suva Beauty Cupcakes and Monsters palette, I'm taking the shade Clover Club with a Zoeva. 231 brush and blending out my lower lash line. Now for some glitter, I'm taking Lit Cosmetics Magic Dragon size 3, applying that over Too Faced Shadow Insurance Glitter Glue. First applying the glue and then immediately after applying the glitter with an e.l.f. concealer brush. Next, just applying mascara, I have already curled my lashes and lined my upper waterline and giving my lower lashes a coat as well. For lashes, I'm using House of Lashes Pixie Luxe and I use their white glue, pop them on in the center, the outer corner, and because I'm going in at a weird angle, I had to push them up a lot. And that's it. And this is the finished look. Thank you guys so much for watching and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and tell me what you thought.